I do think it's very important that we remind ourselves about a couple things. Is one, sort of what we're here to do and what we aspire to do, and second, how we aspire to do it. Those two things are both important. Here's our mission statement, which we've now had for, for about 10 years. Our value statement doesn't, isn't quite as old as 10 years. Responsibility, integrity, community, excellent. We recognize the folks who've been here for a while. I think a lot of you are uh, here today. That's great. I think one of the things that tells us are we doing OK with our employees is are they staying with us? So the Elizabeth Gillis Award, uh, named after the former First Lady of, of Rice, uh, recognizing her particular dedication to, uh, to the university and her supportive staff um, for the employees, shows consistently outstanding performance and embody an exceptional attitude of service. And it, at this occasion, we'd like now to present this award, but we'd like to sort of have a huge round of applause for our Elizabeth Gillis Award recipient, Jana Kellen. After a period of uh, actually some quiet, we're moving into now more substantial construction. Under construction, we have the Moody Center for the Arts. That right now just looks like an empty field where the tennis courts used to be. The Patterson Sports Performance Center, which is going up. We'll be investing in uh, track and soccer facilities, particularly for our women athletes. The stadium there very quickly needs renovation. And then, of course, a constant project in terms of our colleges to make sure on a rotating basis each college is brought up to where they need to be. I want to just to mention, you know, the rankings world, uh, it's always changing. Uh, a new ranking just came out um, by Brookings, which is a very well-respected think tank. And, and Brookings kind of asked the question, how much does the education at this particular institution add to your earnings compared to what you might have expected from just going to a similar institution? And in the entire country, we were number 12 on the list. But we think it's a little more relevant to look at what, how did we compare among institutions like us. And among institutions like us, we were number four in the country. And that means for a student thinking about where to go to school, and part of the question is, and it shouldn't, clearly it shouldn't be the only question, how is this going to help my economic prospects? Is it worth borrowing the money that I'm going to have to borrow? This is yet another ranking, and there are actually now several like this, that say unequivocally a Rice education has not just the value in terms of the people you will meet and your growth as a, as a person, but actually has clear economic value. A little bit about the impact our work has, uh, and as we think about this, in Houston, across the nation, around the world, we just had a tremendously successful lunch for the Kinder Institute uh, for Urban uh, Research under its new leader, Bill, Bill Fulton. That, that, that enterprise, which was really, we very much owe to Steve Kleinberg and the work that he's been doing now for 34 years in the Houston area survey. But the Kinder Institute for Urban Research is now reaching across the campus, reaching across the city, helping the city identify and solve its problems. You know, often we talk about the, the great work we're doing in science and engineering, but we're doing great work across this campus in every field. With our students in the Houston Action Research teams going out into the city and figuring out what are some of the problems of the city, how can we help solve them, propose solutions to those problems. Uh, volunteers across the city uh, helping Yanta Moore on fighting obesity. A lot of things taking math and science into our community. Our architecture students often go out around the city and help folks who might not be able to afford to hire architects. I hope you saw the story about our football team adding its newest member of the team, a seven-year-old fight, fighting life-threatening illness, housing and dining internships for high school students. Uh, we recently, this is a statement uh, really about the Rice community. I don't know if you know, two of our graduates from the class of 2005 were stranded in the, 
in a remote region of Nepal uh, after the, the earthquake. And it says something about our students. They, one, they immediately, a community formed. Uh, some of the folks communicated to, to us, you know, what were the things that we could do to help. We contacted senators. We contacted the folks who provide rescue services for, for our students. In the end, they were able to get evacuated. Uh, this is on the, the lower right. Um, I, always, uh, I always like it when in important moments, our graduates or anybody else wears their rice hat. Uh, and so right after they've been rescued and, and uh, evacuated, uh, there he was with his rice hat. Uh, looked a little beat up to me, so we're going to send him a new one. 